Hello guys, welcome to Daddy and the Dom with the French Open well and truly underway. We're going to have a look at how the main contenders have started, my predicted quarterfinal lineup, and who I think will go on to lift the famous Musketeers trophy. So if you do enjoy this one, please remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment. We really appreciate all the help and support we get and it really does help the channel. So now that that's out of the way, we're going to start with quarter number one, which contains number one seed and defending champion Novak Djokovic. He's not been playing too well of late, some very erratic form and some very strange behaviour in the last two tournaments. What we do know with Novak is if he turns up for a major, there's a very good chance he's going to win it. He will take this seriously and I'm expecting him to go quite far here. Should make the quarterfinals with ease, he's going to have to beat Massetti and Serendulo to get that far, which I expect him to do. He will probably face Kasper Ruud at that quarterfinal stage as he only has to beat Echeverry and Fritz along the way, which I think he's more than capable of doing so. And that will set up a rematch of last year's final, which is great for the fans to see at this stage. And I'm telling you now, if Novak Djokovic does not turn up and he's in the same form we've seen him in the last two tournaments, he will go out at this stage. He's my favourite player, so I'm going to back him to turn it round, get the job done and progress to the semi-finals. So I'm locking in. Novak Djokovic as semi-finalist number one. So moving on to the second quarter of the draw now, and this is the most competitive portion of the draw in my opinion, and could be won by either of three men. Alexander Zverev, Holger Brun and Daniil Medvedev. Zverev has been on fine form, put out the King of Clay in the first round and won in Rome last week. Rune was a semi-finalist here last year and Medvedev is good for a semi-final in any major tournament. I think Medvedev will probably be the favourite to take this portion, mainly because he's got an easier route to the quarterfinals. But I think the big game is going to be in the fourth round between Zverev and Rune, and whoever wins that one could very well topple Medvedev in that quarterfinal. I do think in a very tightly contested game, Alexander Zverev will just come through that, just the form he's been on and the tournament win last week. And I think he'll also just about edge Medvedev in the quarterfinals and he will become our second semi-finalist. So I'm going to lock in Alexander Zverev as semi-finalist number two. Moving on to the bottom half of the draw now, and I think this is far less competitive than the top half. And we're going to start off in quarter number three, which contains Rublev, Sisipas, Shelton and Alcaraz as the main contenders here. I do think Rublev versus Sisipas could go either way. But I'm going to back Pass to progress to the quarterfinals, toppling the higher seed, just based on his all-round game. And I think he's a slightly better clay court player than Rublev. I think that's his weakest of the three surfaces. I think Rublev and his ranking is more based on his hard court performance. And in that bottom section of this third quarter, I think Shelton will come through a tight game against Felix and Alcaraz will just brush him aside. And I think he'll brush aside CC Pass in the quarterfinals as well. I really don't think there's anyone that's going to be able to stop the young Spaniard coming through here and becoming semi-finalist number three. Very straightforward. The only thing that could probably derail him is an injury. I know he was injured before the tournament, but I can just see this being a cakewalk. And he will be locked in as quarterfinalist number three, Carlos Alcaraz. Moving on to the fourth quarter, and I think this is going to be equally as one-sided as the last one. You've got Herkaz, Dimitrov, Ofner and Sinner all vying for that semi-final spot. And I think on the top end of this, you're going to have Herkaz and Dimitrov. Herkaz is the higher seed, but I think Dimitrov is better on the surface and I think he'll just edge it. Herkaz, he's got the serve, but Clay does not really do well if you've got a good serve. He's much better preferred to the grass courts and even the hard courts, but I think this is going to be a little bit too much for him and Dimitrov will progress here. Um, Offner, this is where the seeds have gone a little bit out of sync here. So you had um, Mutet and Offner, and I think Offner will just come through that one. But Sinner is just going to stroll through this side of the draw. He's going to brush aside Kotov, he's going to smash Offner, and he's probably going to beat Dimitrov in a quite routine game and be probably one of the easiest players to lock in as a semi finalist. And that's going to be semi finalist number four, Yannick Sinner. So that brings us to top four seeds as our predicted semi-final lineup, and I know it's not too often that that happens. So if you are looking for someone to come from the pack and cause a surprise, 
My pick for that one is going to be Kasper Ruud. If he does manage to overcome Novak Djokovic in the quarterfinals, it could open up for him. But for me, the reason why I'm going to discount him on this occasion is for him to be able to beat Novak, Alexander Zverev, and then the winner of Alcaraz and Sinner all in a row back to back. I think that's a little bit too much to ask. But if you are looking for a slight outsider, Kasper Ruud is your man. So now looking ahead to those semi-final matches and considering the last 20 years there's only been four men to lift this trophy, only one remains in the tournament and that is Novak Djokovic. There is a very good chance we get a first-time winner of this tournament. I think looking in that game in particular, Novak versus Sverev, I can actually see Sverev winning this one. I think it would be a little bit too much for Novak. He's not in the greatest form as I touched upon earlier and Sverev is on absolute fire. So I'm going to say that Sverev takes this one here. And he'll face Alcaraz or Sinner, both men having an easier route to the semi-final, having to use a lot less energy than the guys in the top half of the draw. But both men were injured prior to this tournament. Alcaraz is a lot worse. And I think Sinner will use that to his advantage. He'll look to exploit any weakness that is still there. And I think he'll make it through to face Sverev in the final, where I think it is written in the stars. He did win last week. And he did dispatch of the King of Clay, Rafa Nadal, in the first round. Threw him around the court like a rag doll. Absolutely battered him from pillar to post. So I'm going to say that this year's winner, 2024, French Open champion, will be Alexander Zverev. <laughs> 